n equals n sub 0 times 1 half raised to the t over the half-life. So let's just break that down. n sub 0 means the amount at time 0, the original amount. 1 half is your base because it's cutting in half. Every t divided by the half-life. So t is the time, and half-life is the time that it takes for it to break down uh, and end up just with half of the original amount. And then n here is what you end up with after that amount of time. So let's look at an example. It says you have 100 grams of a substance that has a half-life of 20 days. Okay, so it takes 20 days for it to cut into half or break down to half. How long will it take for you to have 10 grams remaining? Okay, so let's see if we can uh, use the formula here. We're starting with, uh, let's see, 100 grams. Okay, one half. We're trying to figure out the time that it takes. The half-life is, let's see, 20 days. And we want to end up with just 10 grams, so that's 10. Okay, so we're trying to solve for t. So what we're going to do is we're going to work from the outside in towards the t by doing the opposite operation. So first thing we're going to do is divide both sides by 100. And if we do that, we get 0 0.10 equals 1 half to the t over 20. Now because the variable is in the exponent position, we're going to do the opposite of exponentiating. We're going to take the logarithm of both sides. So because this is base 1 half, let's take the log base 1 half of this quantity here, 1 half to the t over 20. And we're going to do the same thing to the left side of the equation because we want to keep it balanced, right? These are inverses. They cancel one another out or undo one another. And so you're left with t divided by 20 equals log base 1 half of 0 0.10. We're just going to do the opposite of dividing by 20, multiply both sides by 20 to get t by itself. Let's do the same thing to the other side. And let's go to the calculator now. But a lot of calculators uh, don't have the ability to take the log base 1 half. They only have the common log base 10 and the natural log. So we can use the change of base formula by taking the natural log of 0 0.10 over the natural log of 1 half, which is 0.5, and then multiply that whole quantity times 20. That'll give us our time. So let's go to the calculator. Let's see what we get. Uh, you can double check me here. We've got natural log 0 0.10 divided by natural log 0 0.5 times 20. 66.4 days. So that's the time. T equals 66.4 days. And that's how long it'll take to go from 100 grams initially to 10 grams remaining. So I hope this helps you to understand how to work with uh, half-life problems a little bit uh, easier. Um, this is the formula you're going to want to use or memorize here. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out some of the other math videos that I have on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.